let's continue our Flask web application uh, tutorial and vice versa from where we left off. Let's first run our application as we normally would. Uh, just saying this is the code untweaked from last time, at least really just a couple of minutes ago. Um, that we're working with here looks good. And we're also going to take our Chrome window on the side. And let's see if everything works as intended. That does indeed work. Okay, so this profile thing, maybe we make this profile something like that. Let's make that. Okay, we were kind of freestyling this. Uh, let's in this video, let's go ahead and dive into render template. Okay, the reason render template isn't, I want to dive into it right now is just to get it out of the way because it would be kind of a headache to get into it later, I think. So if we just do this, render template at the top, now we're all officially importing something called render template. All it does is we'll copy this code, it were, okay. And here we're going to do render template, okay. And we're going to put our quotations, index.html, all right. And we're going to save that, okay. And you know what, we, we'll make this the home page again for the sake of you know simplicity we'll make a home page now it's going to say template not found index.html why is that because we currently don't have any any templates uh, how we make a template is by default flask is going to look for a folder called templates okay this folder that's in the root directory the same directory as your app is going to have a couple of templates what are templates they're html templates files that contain HTML but are going to also be rendered using Jinja too as you can see here they're gonna look for some type of special symbols and stuff some signs that maybe something sh should come here from Python so for example if a user is logged in you can say welcome comma and then some type of special symbols user dot username something like that so we're gonna get there eventually but for now what do we, what do we do uh, we make a templates folder inside here we're going to we're going to make an index.html file there we go we have it and now I'm just going to put the it were inside here okay and we can see we have our flask app here and our index HTML here there now the the hierarchy, I'm going to go over this again, is we have one folder that contains our Flask app. It's called myfirstapp.py. And then we have templates as a folder. Okay. This templates folder contains all of our HTML. And currently we only have one file called index.html. If we open it, oh, it's going to open with something. It's going to open with any type. If we open it, using a text editor, we can see that the contents are it were like this h1 it were. I actually did not quite know this cool little HTML uh, editor. I, I don't really use this editor. Normally I use NeoVim. Uh, so that's kind of cool how it how it makes it bigger for h1. Anyways, we put this index. Let's see the magic happen when we hit refresh. It were. It's perfect. Let's zoom in a little bit. It were indeed. Let's fix the typo. It work. Great. So index.html is working right now. Why is it working? Okay, let's go over what we've done again. Render template is the keyword. We have imported render template, which is a function. And all it does is it takes in a string. This string is the path of the HTML file that you're trying to render. And by default, it's looking inside the templates folder that's located within the root directory of your app. So again, if you were to look at the hierarchy, it's basically going here and look, it's going to look inside the templates folder and it's going to look at index.html. You can also do, you can also do folders within here. So let's say we had something like user. Okay. <coughs> <coughs> and user is going to have its own, excuse me, profile.html. Okay. So if, if user had its own profile.html, what we would do is user slash profile.html and this will work as well. In fact, I'm gonna show you that it should return an empty page because we didn't put anything in there. Uh, but right now index.html does contain stuff. So there you have it. Um, let's put this here and let's do this. As you can see, index, index and 
the temp a, I mean the template folder is where it's looking. So again, if we were to do user slash, we can access files such as profile as such. Uh, okay, and that comes to the end of this video. I appreciate uh, you sticking around till the end, and I look forward to to future videos again. I hope you learned something useful. Render template. Basically, we've moved our HTML code inside an actual HTML file for now, and in the future, we're going to be actually adding some type of Python in there, some variables and stuff. It's going to be pretty nice. So stay tuned and take care. Peace.